Hello everyone, my name is Shauna Weckerling, commonly known as the Tax Goddess. I'm a CPA with my Master's in Taxation and one out of four certified tax coaches here in Arizona, one of 500 here in the US. Today I want to reach out to the small business owner. There are three big audit flags that can trip you up as a small business owner. The first one, and I know, I know, absolutely you use your car 100% for business, but really, you've never taken your car to go get groceries or to pick up the kids? If you're deducting your vehicle 100% for business, that is a massive audit flag for the IRS. They 100% understand that there's no way that you've never gone to the grocery store, never gone to the movies, or never gone out for dinner. So I wouldn't recommend it, and even in the higher percentages, like the 80, 85, 90% range, there are very few professionals or industries that can get away with that kind of business use. Second one is those that are in the real estate industry. So if you own five, six, seven rental properties, and you consider yourself to be a real estate professional, and you therefore report that on your tax return, you better have great records. The IRS has been specifically hunting real estate professionals for the past four or five tax years. Right now, they are looking for those people that are having a spouse with a W-2 making good money at another job, and the other spouse being a real estate professional and deducting all of the losses on rental properties, fix and flip properties, commercial properties, that kind of thing. So if you are reporting yourself to be a real estate professional, make sure that you have all the appropriate records. And by the way, if you don't know what those are, Tax Goddess Team is a specialist in real estate, so we're always happy to help. The third and most important audit flag that the IRS is hunting right now is a business with a foreign bank account. If you have a bank account in a foreign country and the balance of that bank account has ever during the year been at least $10,000, you are required to report that form, that bank account, I'm sorry, on a special form. If that form is not filed and the IRS finds out, it's a $10,000 penalty per bank account that you did not report per year. We've had a couple of clients who magically found bank accounts that have come into existence. They have, of course, now properly filed the forms. The IRS was at one point and commonly offers a way to report those without having the penalty hit. It's basically a penalty relief program. So if you're in that case and maybe you didn't know that you were supposed to, put, supposed to report that bank account, reach out to us. We are more than happy to help you get those forms filed filed and hopefully get you into one of the penalty relief programs. Once again, if you need any help, the Tax Goddess team is always here, www.taxgoddess.com.